Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back to some more Roblox. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new game called Lumion Legacy, uh, which is basically from the creators of Pokemon Brick Bronze for Roblox, which was actually taken down. So they've created this new game, Lumion Legacy. So we're going to be checking it out. It just released today. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Lumion Legacy Veils of Shadow. Brand new game here. I look forward to this as well. So we can continue. We have new game and we have credits, adventures and RTD. I did that out of order. But anyway, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Lumion Legacy Veils of Shadow. I definitely want to see if I can do a playthrough on this. So if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe as well. Make sure you turn on notifications if you want to see more so there we have it let's go ahead and start this new game also if there's any tips or anything like that if you want to help me out that's always appreciated too and vice versa so here we go there's also a credits here so this is a bunch of the developers executive producer co-producer there's a lot of people here again that worked on this so yeah very very cool here so there we have it neat and let's go to new game and let's get this started <laughs> i'm actually excited about this all right here we go what do we have here Hmm. Okay. This is Mitis Town or Mitis Town? Uh here's where we start off. Lumian Laboratory of Roria. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at them playing around. Now I actually haven't I think I played Pokemon Break Bronze once. Um so this is going to be very interesting to start on this. Uh oh, there's a dark cloud. Run, run. Okay. B H seven. Or I guess these are just like kind of cryptic numbers, or just that the like those ancient scripts on the walls. Fascinating. I can't believe I'm actually playing Roblox. This doesn't even seem like Roblox right now. Here's the weather here. This just in. A storm has appeared out of nowhere in Southeast Roria. Meteorologists are stumped by this abnormality in the weather that appeared so suddenly. As we continue to investigate, we will keep you informed. As always, tune in to Roria News on 6 to stay tuned to date on everything. There we have it happening. Okay. <laughs> there was like just like that extra word in there. And look at that, and there I am. All right, you know, this is gonna be very, okay, there it is. So I can actually, move. so I can actually turn my camera, but I can move. So this is a uh, very, very interesting here and very new for me to play here, but this is awesome the way this looks. Hey honey, could you please come downstairs? Of course, of course, of course I can. All right, here we go, let's go downstairs. Mom? Oh, oh, there you are. I don't think your father. Yeah, it's my mom. Your mom. Uh, wait, <laughs> your father called a moment ago. He was at the dig site when the storm came. He said something very interesting has happened to the stone tablet he's been studying. He insists on showing you. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I see you tried on your new Lumi watch. You know, you know. To set it up, you have to press the button. Ooh. Guys, this is actually amazing here. This is so cool. Welcome. So this is now my Lumi watch. So we're gonna enter our name here. There we go, Big B Stats 2. Perfect. All right. Um, make sure, I don't think I put a question. No, I didn't, okay. I could put my actual name, but we'll, we'll stick with uh, our name here. There we go. This is crazy, Rory ID. Um, all right, there's my ID. Okay, cool, cool. This is awesome. I'll teach you more about your new Lumi watch later. For now, I need to get going. I need to go check on the Lumanians. Um, Lumians, oh, Lumians, I said Lumanians. Lumians uh, that we've been carrying for the lab. Uh, they aren't trained yet and they're start, start easy. Okay, don't forget your father wanted you to go see him at the dig site. Be careful in this weather out there. Be careful in the weather out there, okay. We'll do, we'll do mom. Appreciate that, appreciate it. So here we have like our menu up here. Here's a map, here's items, here's ID, here's Lumi Boost, and here's options. Let's look at the items. So we have items, medicine, disc. We don't have anything yet. MMS, fruit, key items. Okay, very, very cool here. 
Here's our map. Don't think that's, I don't think our watch is even set up yet. Here's Lumi Boost, of course. Here's options here. Reduce graphics off. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're actually good here. Okay, I gotta get used to not being able to control this. So let's go ahead and go to the dig site now uh, and see what our father wants to actually show us uh, here. So now I can actually control. Okay, this is, this is actually, this is so cool. Like, look at this. This is amazing. All right, and the graphics on this look incredible, by the way. All right, I wanna look at the map here and see if something shows up, being that I've gone outside. No, it hasn't. All right, I need to go to the dig site here, which it looks like it's something right here. Hello? Uh, Gas Choke is loving this rain. Can I speak to them? I don't think I can. Uh, let's go into this house over here and see if there's anything. And let, let's just check this house out. I think I can actually, I can go in the houses, which is actually quite cool. All right, what are they saying? Of course he studies his books every day. I'm sure he'll make a great trainer. Uh, are you sure he's ready for a Lumion? Hmm. So I'm assuming the Lumions are like kind of like the, I don't know, they could be like the Pokemon. Let's go inside of here. Not like the Pokemon, I don't want to compare this to Pokemon at all. Hello, buddy. Dripple is actually the best Lumion. Uh, it says so right here in the Dripple fan book. <laughs> All right, then where is your Lumion at? All right, I'm going to go ahead and go down. I got to remember that. Dripple. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Again, I still need to make it to that dig site, but I didn't, I didn't think that I could actually check out all these houses. I didn't think that I was actually able to go into any of these houses. Let's just say that. All right, let's go on to this one. See if there's something in here or someone in here. Very rarely a Lumion is found with an abnormal coloration. Uh, they also have a strange glowing aura. It is for this reason that these Fomania are referred to as gleaming Lumions. Uh, this fascinates me so much. They fascinate me so much. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of my free time searching for them. I've never seen one in the wild, but I've met two trainers who had one. Neither of them would let me get too close, unfortunately. If you ever capture a gleaming Lumion, please show it to me. Ooh, that's gonna be my goal. That's actually gonna be my goal now, to capture a gleaming Lumion. Or, did she, did she say gleaming or glowing? I think gleaming. All right. Let's go over here. I think the dig site is definitely down this way, but I still wanna check out these, these two houses here again. I didn't think that I could actually go inside of them. All right, and plus they could be saying something important too that I may miss. Excuse me. Uh, when I'm finished with the household chores, I like to relax and watch TV with my kids. Watching the battle theater uh, shows together uh, is how we bond as a family. Cool. Yes, another victory for battle star Naya. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Our closest battle theater is in Sylvan City, so my sister and I like to watch the battles that happen there. Maybe someday I'll get to fight there, too. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe someday, you know? You gotta dream big, you know? In order to do big, you gotta dream big. I like it. All right, let's check out this last house here. And then I know, I know my dad is probably like, okay, where is he at? Hey, you know, I told him to be here right about now, and he's nowhere. All right, it's my last house here. My kids sure do love watching those battle shows. I worry they, they spend so much time watching them, though. These battle theater shows are amazing. Naya is so cool, and her Gecklo is really tough. Hmm. Okay, I hope I'll be able to go and watch her battle one day. Ah, so this is cool. So I'm assuming the Lumians are kind of battling. Can I go in here? Let's see, is there, yeah, there's someone in here watching the battle show for sure. Come on, Gecklo, you can win. Gecklo is my favorite Lumanian ever. Lumian ever. I keep saying Lumania. One day, I want to have a whole team of Gecklo. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So I need to remember that. Triple and Gecklo. Maybe they're, they're also there. All right, here we go. Let's go down. All right, let's see how we do. Also, I feel like this is going to mess up my pronunciation so much because I'm actually living in Germany and the G's are pronounced different. And I just know, yeah, it kind of confuses my brain a lot whenever I read words now. Um, Lumian Laboratory of Roria. All right, here we go. Looks like we're here, but not at the dick site just yet. All right, let's go into the laboratory. 
Well, this is very interesting here. All right, there's my mom over there. Wonder if there was anything there I could check out. Oh, this is cool. Here are the Lumians, I believe. I'm checking on the on these young Lumians to ensure they aren't frightened by this storm. Anyways, your dad was looking for you at the dig site. You should go find him and see what he wanted. Oh, these are cool. Oh, these are amazing here. So these like I can't wait to actually get some. All right. Let me or to actually get one Lumian, that would be quite awesome. Not even just some, uh, one would be fine for now at least. And then I'm going to want a bunch. All right. All right, let's go over here. I think this looks like we can actually go down this path. All right, perfect. This looks good. All right, we're at the dig site now. Dad, I'm coming. I'm coming, okay? All right. Let's keep going. See if there's anything here. No, I don't think so. All right. Oh, there you are, Bigby Stats. Oh, it looks like it has a cookie hat as well. I see you got my message from your mother. You'll never believe what just happened. First, we were outside when the storm clouds appeared out of nowhere. Rain came pouring down suddenly, so we ran in here to seek shelter. That's when the text on the tablet unexpectedly began to glow. The characters actually came off and completely rearranged themselves. I know it sounds crazy, but you will find that, the te that this text does not match what we previously recorded. What's happening now? Oh my goodness. What? I can't believe it. The tablet, it's actually gone. All that research just got up and flew away. This isn't good. We weren't able to finish transcripting the new text. The pieces of the stone tablet seem to have all gone off in different directions. I think someone or something didn't want us reading that message. We're going to have to search for all these piece, all the pieces so that we can continue to study the stone. That's odd. The rain seemed to have stopped. Bigby Stats, I'm going to do the Lumian Laboratory to update your mother on all of this. You should meet us there when you get a chance. See you later. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe the stone, the tablet, didn't even want to, uh, you know, be near me. All right. Let's go into town, though. Not in town, we need to go to the laboratory to see our mom and dad. All right, this is this is crazy. So I don't know if the story's gonna be like, I have to find all the pieces of that tablet and look at the town here. Hello, townsmen. Hello, it looks like everyone's out of the house too as well. Yeah, the sun is shining. You know, when it's rainy and dark, no one wants to be outside, right? Not me at least. All right, let's go to the Lumian laboratory. All right, excuse me. There we go. We're going, it's crazy how the people look like actual people here. This is a pretty cool watch, by the way, as well. All right, this Lumi watch. All right, here we go. All right. Hey, Biggest Stats. I'm glad to see you made it back safely, sweetie. Hey, champ, good timing. <laughs> I was just catching your mother up on what happened at the dig site. So for months, you've been studying that mysterious stone you found. And it starts acting weird around the same time that mysterious storm appeared over town. That can't be a coincidence. I believe you're right. Soon after the text change on the stone, it was broken and the pieces were scattered in the wind. I didn't even get enough time to, str to transcribe uh, the new message on the tablet before the pieces disappear. You told me that you had deciphered the original text weeks ago. What did the original message say again? It roughly translated to the creature's secret lies dormant within until the day of awakening. It comes again. Ooh. If I could only get the pieces of the tablet back, I could decipher its new message. Hopefully whatever it said would give us some clue. Did you happen to see where they went? No. They flew out in every direction. There is no telling where they could have gone. Didn't you tell me the tablet emanated a subtle but unique energy signature? Yes, it interfered with our equipment while we were digging nearby. That is what led us to the first place. What if the fine tune that technology to detect the missing pieces of the tablet? Hmm. Yes. That's just that just might work. If I had access to a satellite array, I could emit a signal strong and wide enough to detect the pieces. But 
Who? Wait, but who do I know that has a facility equipped with a satellite array? <laughs> I mean, we're in that one. You want to? You want to use my equipment? Is that okay with you, dear? Of course. I'm interested to see if this is tied to the Lumion I've yet to document. Excellent. Thank you. I do wonder though, how will you be able to operate your machine here while searching for the missing pieces at the same time? That is a good question. That's very, very true. Don't look at me. My field research days are coming to a close. Oh, it's going to be me. I'm getting too old to go on adventures looking for spooky rocks. Maybe if I was still in my prime. Ha ha ha. No worries, Derek. I actually had someone else in mind. Sweetheart, how do you feel about letting Vivi Stacks go into my place to search for the stones? Oh my goodness, this is getting interesting. I think that would be perfect. I've been thinking of trusting Vivi Stacks with the Lumion for the lab for quite some time now. I would love nothing more to see our child on an adventure, Lumanians, Lumians <laughs> by their side experiencing uh, what I did when I was young. Ah, uh, yes, the life of Lumian trainer. What do you think, Big B Sats? Uh, will you help me out? Your mother is offering to give you your very first Lumian to help you along the way. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm about to get one. That's the biggest grin I think I've ever seen. I'd say Baby Sass has been wanting something like this for a while. I'm certainly not surprised one. Wait, I'm certainly not surprised one bit, considering how much Baby Sass watches Battle Theater on the TV. That's perfect, champ. Maybe one day you'll be on TV when a challenge, uh, when you challenge at a Battle Theater yourself. Okay, well then, it's settled. I need to get set up in here. Sweetheart, why don't we give Bigby Sats a Lumion now and then practice with a quick battle? That's a great idea. Oh my goodness. All right, Bigby Sats, follow me over here. Let's find you a Lumion you like. Oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. All right, this is so exciting. Picking your first Lumion is so special. Lumions are lifelong companions that you will never forget. Pick the one that you like the most, and when you, you've decided, I'll teach you how to battle. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I get to pick the one. I get to pick one. Attention, everybody. You all remember Bippy Stats, don't you? Gather around. Don't be shy. Oh, this is so cute. This is amazing. All right. Let's see. Let's see here. One of you is missing. You're asleep. Yep. Fivine. All right. Come here. Fivine, or it could be Fivine, Fivine. All right. Here we go. Okay, Baby Stats, pick any Lumion you like. Oh my goodness, this is actually a tough one here. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I'm going to need your help. So we have Snow Cub, uh, which is an ice Lumion. Uh, when packs of Snow Cub travel down mountainsides, they often cause panic as they are mistaken for uh, an avalanche. Very, very cool there. Uh, we got Imbit, uh, who is a fire one. It says, its soft fur is always warm to touch. Uh, this Lumion is especially popular in the colder regions of Roria, uh, where it helps its trainer stay warm in harsh climate. Okay, we got a light one, Eaglet. Uh, be cautious when approaching an Eaglet's nest. These brave little Lumions are known to use blinding lights and razor claws to defend their nest at all costs. We have Triple, uh, who is a warder. This Lumion appreciates the companionship of a trainer when given the chance, but is perfectly content with, perfectly content to spend all day doing nothing more than blowing bubbles uh, from its mouth. We also have Electric. Electric type Lumion is often found playing in thunderstorms where it uses its tail as lightning rod to gather energy from lightning strikes. It can send powerful jolts of electricity through its whiskers to stun a prey. And then we have Vambat, uh, this mischievous type this mischievous dark type Lumion is notorious for dive bombing cave explorers and stealing their hats. Very cool. And then we got Favine or Fivine. Uh, during the day, uh, Favine can be found lounging in the sun, storing energy at night. However, it unleashes its full potential and chases its prey through fields with explosive energy. Oh, this is a big decision, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very big decision here. So I think what I'm going to do is is I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, in the next episode, I will be choosing my Lumion, so this is gonna be very important. Uh, so which one do you think I should pick? Uh, comment it down below, and then we'll make that decision in the next episode, which could be out again shortly. So yeah, which Lumion should I pick? I'm kinda pulling towards triple, I don't know just yet, so let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and share it, especially if you want to see more episodes uh, of this as well. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Also, I have a star code, Big B2. so if you do purchase yourself some Robux, you can use my star code to show your support. But yeah, thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next video.